Hey people, what's going on? It was just time for a break. So I'm saying hello on Sunday, the 15th of November. I'm going to move my lap. Because when I watch the videos in the past, there's been times when the lamp will sit right like a... I'll be sitting here and looking and say, look, the lamp looks like a cone on my head. So that's why I move it for you new people. Um, how are you all doing? I'm hanging in there. It's pretty long going now, isn't it? We're tired, aren't we? And yet there's... And, and yet it's out of our hands in so fun to, far that we can't control the virus. So I'm just tired of, of, of the ongoing lockdown, but that's since we can't get... Here we are. I've received a couple of things and um, I'll do this one first. Thank you for sending it. Um, here's the letter. Sometimes I get stuff, J.D. Pace, sometimes I get stuff where it's like, mm, and this is one of them, okay? J.D. sent me a copy of his old band's record, Concrete Journal Intergalactic Cannabinoid Noise. But, but the other disc is what he wanted me to hear. This was a band that he was in. He described them as being kind of punk. Um... You know, uh, honestly, the band sounds to me like they were, like, just starting. That's what it start, sounds like to me, more than punk. Just that people are just still learning how to play. Thanks. Okay, that's, that's the best I can do on that one, J.D. Okay, then you sent me this. You're working on a new, something of your own now. Called this Discs. And this is something that's in development, JD. It's like um, it's like you're striking out on your own, and you're trying. I you're trying these ideas, and that's what it sounds like, you know. And um, um, the the most honest, objective feedback I can give you is it sounds to me like you're in a in a process of finding out what you can do and what you want to sound like. Um, so I want to encourage you to keep it up, okay? But that's what I hear. It's, um, things, things have a way to go. They have a way to go. I also received an, uh, 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 unexpected VCLT. I get, over the years I've received stuff from this guy, Kirk is his name. And Kirk blows me away with his gifts. I apparently helped him to find something, some music. I can't remember doing any trading with Kirk, but when I see his... I'm pretty sure it's this guy on line when he shows, when he posts pictures in, in the groups he's in, he must have some money because he's got an, a, a stereo that looks like a piece of art. It lo looks like, it, it, his stereo looks like it costs more than my house. I also have noticed that he's super finicky about what is in his collection. He likes, he likes first pressings, originals, and immaculate. So. He sent me some amazing things over the years, and the latest thing is another amazing thing. He sent me a test pressing of Ryuichi Sakamoto and Taylor Dupree live in London. Two 12 inches test pressing. Wow, wow. Now, of the Sakamoto stuff that comes out, this collaboration, I've got another of their collaboration on CD. This is on the more experimental side, where this is kind of just kind of grinds along, and it's like sounds like there's an accordion or something, and it just kind of just keeps moving, and this is one of the less um, satisfying of his collaborations that I've come across, but the idea of owning the release on a test pressing is just fabulous. Thank you so much, Kirk. It blows me away. Thank you so much. I've been doing a lot of listening, and I've been working on some new pieces of music. I'll show one thing that came in. I finally got this. Africa by Demon Fuzz. This 
came out in 1970 originally on the Dawn label. Um, I believe it was some Africans who had moved to Britain. And this has been, this is one that um, I over the years have seen a lot by different collectors. It's been very um, <clears throat> desirable. Now, I have it now. I got it, I went ahead and picked it up because they just released a 50th anniversary edition of it, limited edition on this beautiful orange vinyl. That's my favorite color. Now, I like this album, but I'm underwhelmed by it. This is an example of one of those collector's records where people rave about it. And I don't agree with the raving. It's like, I see what, I see what they're saying. This was, at the time, uh, bold. Um, but, um, I'm glad to have it, but I'd heard it already before, and it's like, I knew that it was, compared to this, this is much more, um, to, to, to my, um, interest, this, for, just for example, since it's sitting here, pull this head and play this in a while, it's a live recording of Faust with Omar Rodriguez Lopez from Mars Volta, this came out in 2019, I'll show this because this is on white vinyl. I forget how I found out about this. Now, I really like this, and this is more noise-based as opposed to composition, but the uh, but what I'm getting from this, not only as a listener, but how it feels, is just more substantial. I love the work of Faust. There's just something about how they do their thing that connects with me. Okay, a couple more. Illusion of Safety. Can't remember much about this group, but More Violence and Geography. A sound work came out in 1988. Saw someone talking about them online, and I thought to myself, I haven't played this in forever. And man, this is really good. And this is before sampling. This is before people had samplers. So it, this apparently is involving a lot of use of tape. And this is just really, really wonderful. It's a big sound collage, but it's more than that. There's compositions in here as well. Illusion of Safety. It was a pleasant surprise. And here's one I haven't played probably since it almost came out because I used to cover this in my band, Digital Sex, in the 80s. November Group, Persistent Memories. This is an EP they put out. Man, that looks brand new, and I've had this since it came out. I've taken good care of it. But my band, Digital Sex, we did the song Heart of a Champion and um, brought back good memories playing this. I have not played this record literally since sometime in the 80s. And so I had to turn it up and play it twice. And um, I enjoyed playing that song. The woman has a cool voice. Smoky is how it was described in the uh, on Discogs. There's more. There's always more to. Sh there's always more to talk. I'll talk about this right quick because I got this years ago. Um, because it was being talked about so much, and I thought to myself, well, "Let me grab it before I can't get it." And it turns out that I'm glad it is. This is really good. Pacific Ocean Blue by Dennis Wilson, the Beach Boy, the the drummer, wild man, who knew Charles Manson, was a hard drugger. Beach Bum, I think he died on the streets or on the drowned in the ocean. <coughs> but this was a particular reissue done by Sundays, where it's the uh, it's a double album on blue vinyl, plus a third album of Sessions. This is really good. Now, it's not the sort of thing I go for. It's like you know, there's there's blues on here and this white kid trying to do R and B. But it's the Beach Boys too. It's really weird how by himself with the people that he hired to do the session, it has the sound and feeling of the Beach Boys all the way through it. It's a, a wonderful, intriguing album. I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna just kind of hold my tongue regarding politics. Well, I'm gonna say this much. I'm just really disappointed in the world 
how we're so stupid to be so so stupidly divided left versus right how stupid you know how did we forget that um, ancient wisdom which is true which is united we stand we're all losing why is this happening there's a smile 